Heat pumps are a fantastic way to reduce CO2 emissions from your home in a safe, efficient manner. However, there are a lot of misconceptions regarding heat pumps due to a lack of accessible information. But with government incentives being offered through installation schemes, now is the right time to be considering switching to an electric method of heating your home. But what actually is a heat pump? A heat pump uses electricity to absorb heat from the outside air or underground surfaces and uses it to heat your home. The key to how they work is a cycle of evaporation and condensation inside the system using a refrigerant fluid, much like your refrigerator at home, only in reverse. Inside the system, the refrigerant fluid absorbs heat from its surroundings and evaporates, becoming a gas. To make it warm enough to use to heat your home, the gas is compressed to raise its temperature using an electrically driven compressor. It then transfers the heat into your heating system, heating your home via radiators, hot air or underfloor heating, and condenses back into a liquid form ready to repeat the process. No emissions are produced, making heat pumps more environmentally friendly than traditional heating systems as well as being more efficient. Three different types of heat pump are common in UK homes. Air source heat pumps are the most common, and there are two variations, low temperature and high temperature. Low temperature systems are very energy and cost efficient, and are suitable for homes that are well insulated. If this is not the case, your installer may recommend a high temperature system, which reaches roughly the same water flow temperature as a gas boiler. Ground source heat pumps tend to be the most efficient, since ground temperatures don't fluctuate as much as air temperatures throughout the year but they do require space as installations require digging boreholes or trenches for the system. Both ground source and air source heat pumps require you to have a hot water tank or other form of thermal storage installed, as neither type provides instantaneous hot water. The third type is the hybrid heat pump, which uses a boiler as well as a heat pump. The boiler is used primarily to heat the hot water in the home, removing the need for a hot water tank. While not as environmentally beneficial as a standalone heat pump system, it does offer flexibility and can help heating poorly insulated or larger homes. Which you choose comes down to both budget and property. Smaller properties with sufficient insulation could find a low temperature heat pump is the best option. Whereas larger homes may be better suited to a hybrid or high temperature heat pump. So long as specific criteria are met, they are considered to be under permitted planning, so you can install one without planning permission. However, you will need permission from the distribution network operator for the area in which the heat pump will be installed. They ensure that the local power infrastructure is capable of handling the installation of the heat pump. As per their net zero goals, the UK government is looking to encourage the installation of heat pumps through the Boiler Upgrade Scheme, or BUS. They are offering a grant which contributes to the installation costs of a heat pump, so long as it replaces a fossil fuel burning heating system, such as oil or gas boilers. If you are considering installing a heat pump system, the process is simple. Start by finding an accredited installer on the MCS site. An installer can visit your home and provide you with a quote, as well as cost comparisons of different options, brochures detailing the different heat pumps, and various details about installing and running the system.